Hi there, welcome to you some DIY, my name's Ben. Welcome to part two of this Samsung 2023 Frame TV install. So here we are in front of where the TV was. I've taken it off for now, just for now to keep it safe. Uh, previously, in the previous video I mentioned there used to be a mirror on this wall. There's still the old screws in this wall that were left while I put the TV up to start with. So this video, we're gonna take out these screws, take out the old wall plugs, fill the holes there. So there's one there and one there. Um, and then this wall will get repainted totally. So just to show you the products we're using. So for the, for the filling, I use this uh, polyfiller one fill. Use this for tons of different stuff. Really good uh, kind of all round one fill. Um, so you can use it on tons of different stuff and it's really smooth, no sagging but really lightweight as well, so hopefully it should be perfect for that wall. Paint we're using, as per usual for our painting, is Valspar, so we've got a Valspar premium wall and ceiling paint here, um, and the colour in here is carriage wheel. So we're gonna do the front, this front wall here, um, hopefully, because we're just doing the one front wall, we shouldn't see too much difference to the rest of the same colour in the room. If we do, if we need to go around the alcoves, we might be able to get enough out of this one, uh, one litre uh, tin we've got here. So first of all, we'll get these uh, screws and plugs out and then get the holes filled. One of the reasons we did the full install previously with the uh, screws and plugs was because it didn't have the frame, the actual frame going around the outside of the TV. So this has come from Samsung. Um, we ordered this online and went for the dark brown colour. So this was the £89 one. Um, using the offer from the TV, we'll get, get the full money back for this. I think it's up to £150 value. Uh, so this is £89 the dark brown one, it's still cu currently in the box. I'll do a little bit of a close-up when we unbox it. Uh, but it's all come wrapped in individual uh, pieces with the uh, protective foam around the outside. Um, so it should be really easy to install. So we'll get that out later on, but we'll first concentrate on the preparation work. Okay, just to explain what I've done there on the time lapse, obviously I took the TV off the wall. Um, I sanded down using my Ryobi uh, circular sander, orbital sander, sorry, uh, just to get the filler off there. And then I took, I did that with a 120 uh, sandpaper, went over that with, again with a 240 sandpaper. And you might have seen, I went over some of the wall with a 240 again, just to get uh, rid of some imperfections, some kind of little lumps, tiny little lumps of paint that they'd left the previous time I did it. So this is all ready now, I've put the masking tape around the edge of the uh, fireplace uh, so this is now ready, ready to paint. So we'll cut in across the top around the edges of the fireplace and then I'll use a mini roller to cover the rest uh, of the emulsion up. So we'll crack on now and do that.
Okay, so first coat of paint is on. It's dried for a few hours now. Uh, looking really good. It's blended in really well. Uh, looks good. The only thing, I don't know if you can see it on that camera. You can a little bit, yeah. So you've got the, where the holes, previous holes were from the mirror that we had. One there and one there. Because the surface of that is the, obviously the filler. Um, it's different to the plaster work with the existing paint on. You can really see the difference. So I'm just hoping after two coats, it just blends in a little bit better. I think I'll never get rid of them fully. I've never been really good at filling holes, even with like a top smooth filler finish. I just never seem to be able to get that perfect finish. Uh, so it's probably gonna annoy me for the rest of my life or for as long as we've got that TV up there. Uh, but hopefully it looks okay. So I'm gonna get the second coat on now. It's been, it's been drying for a few hours. It's really it's dried fully enough for a second coat. So I'll do a full cutting again at the top, across the top, down the sides of the fireplace and then roll on a second coat. And fingers crossed it should look good. Uh, so I'll jump into time-lapse mode and we'll get a second coat on. Okay, wall's all done now. Uh, two coats of paint on the wall, filled the holes. I'm not 100% happy with the uh, the old holes from where the mirror were. Um, you can see them in certain angles, certain lights. Be okay for now. Um, I probably will have to do something at some point, maybe, maybe with a fine surface filler, but we'll see. But anyway, next up, I've got the, um, the brown frame that's gonna go around the TV, so I'll just switch around to the table, just do a quick unboxing of the, of the uh, brown frame to go on the outside of the TV on the table, and then we'll install it. Okay, so we've got it in this box here, so I'll just open it up. So we've got some instructions. Obviously the, uh, the, uh, the long pieces, we've got two short pieces for, this, oh, uh, for the sides there. And then the two long pieces for the top and the bottom. Um, there's some extra clips in there, a little bit of paperwork there, which looks like some kind of warranty, and that is everything. So the instructions, let's, let's, uh, a couple of sheets, um, you've got the different parts on there, those being top, bottom um, and the sides. It does say to use the uh, the actual clips that came with it, which are here. Okay, got it all out of the table here, out of the wrapping. So it came with, well, instructions did say there should be these four little corner pieces, which I've got, and then four other studs. But I've looked through the instructions and it appears that you don't need the four little studs for the 43 inch TV. Uh, the little clips that go on the bottom bracket, I believe. Uh, but the 43 inch TV, it's got a cross through it it says it doesn't need it. So these, these corner braces or corner brackets look like they actually uh, give some extra security around the back of the TV and kind of clip the corners together. So there's some little grooves. You may be able to see it in there, probably not. There's some small grooves, I'll look on this camera, in the back of it. And then these clips clip into the corners. Um, so it's got magnets built into it so it clips on uh, magnetically, but they should give some extra, extra security. So I'll go back over to the TV now and pop the uh, pop the frame on and see how easy it is to do. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the instructions. I've got a camera down here just pointing at the corner just to try and give a view of the corner clips going on. 
it might not work because it's quite dark behind there. So first things first, I've got the plastic wrapper still the cellophane on the outside of this, so I'll just peel that off first. Okay, it's plastic wrapper off. So the instructions uh, say to put the bottom piece on first, which I will do. So the bottom piece underneath going on first. The bottom piece does have the cut out groove that's got the uh, IR controller there. So I'll do that now. So that's the bottom piece on. Next up, top piece. Top piece is on. And then the next part is the sides. So there is a small Samsung logo on this one and it says that should go on the right hand side So put that one on last and put the left hand side on first Okay. So that's the frame on its most basic form. We'll just pause there for a second. Okay, I've had a good look around the back uh, and you can't get these corner clips on. Just those on without without taking the TV off. You can't get behind there uh, without you could pull the bottom out slightly to get the bottom ones on, but there's no way you get the top ones on. So I've checked in each of the corners. Everything's matched up perfectly. I probably will leave leave it as is for now because we are thinking of getting a different colour as well, potentially. Um, so what we'll do is I'll, I'll leave these off for now and then once we've got the permanent frame in place, I might put these in. Um, and I'm not sure how necessary they are. Obviously it keeps things nice and snug and secure on the corner perhaps, but things are anyway. They clip on um, on the front and then around the back of the, of the frame. Um, so they're probably just more for that, just kind of perfect, um, perfect fit which we don't need just now. Um, as you'll see, the cable still is loose here. So the plan is to bring the cable uh, across there, behind some picture frames, and still cable clip it onto the wall. Now I'm struggling to find some cable clips, so I've not done that just yet. So that's kind of the re remaining piece I need to do for this install. But the frame's on, and it's looking great. Okay, all finished now, part two of this series done. We've done the final installation of the actual frame, the brown frame around the edge of the TV. And we've also done this paintwork and filled some holes here. Uh, the last remaining part for the actual install is hiding those wires down the side of the, uh, of the fireplace. Uh, but yeah, so far so good, looking good. It's made a massive difference having that frame around it and kind of makes it look more like a picture frame like we're supposed to do. Um, and talking to picture frame, the kind of next part or the part three of this series will be uh, working out how to get some artwork onto this TV um, and some, maybe some music. Um, so yeah, so we've got custom artwork or some of our, our family pictures onto the TV so we can use it as a picture frame and maybe get some, uh, see where we can get some decent artwork from. There were some comments on the original video that we did uh, that give me some ideas on where we can get, what we can do to get some artwork on there and different music files. Uh, so I'll probably use some of that advice on the third video. Uh, but if this video has been useful, if you've liked it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike, let me know in the comment section why. Any questions about the install, the frame we went for, the TV size, or any suggestions you've got for our setup, drop them in the comment section. Uh, we'll much appreciate, uh, comments are much appreciated, any feedback, etc. And I will reply to all, que all questions and comments. If you want to follow the Houston DIY journey along for more product reviews, baking videos, cooking videos, home DIY projects, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.